Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Dogs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today we're going to be making an add roll and remove roll command. So I thought I would start us off by already adding the permissions check since it's in basically all the last couple videos because they've all been moderation. Basically the only thing you need to change is the first uh, permission look which is manage roles and this just basically means that the user has permission to be able to remove roles um add roles and i'm pretty sure delete and create if not that may be manage um manage servers so let's get straight into this so the first thing we want to do is define the role member so it let our member equal message dot mentions dot members dot first now remember you can only have members as this because users cannot possess a role or permission the next thing we want to look for is we want to look for message.guild.members.find and then we're going to find a user by their tag. So m.user.tag and then it, we're going to look for args, args, zero of that. And the last thing we want to get is we want to get the user uh, by their ID if we provide an ID right now that we've got that we want to make a check so if there isn't a member provided what we're gonna do is we're gonna return message dot channel dot send please provide a user to add a role to now the next thing we want to do is we're gonna let role equal now we're gonna add a way to mention the role we're going to add a way to get the role by id and we're also going to add a way to get the role uh if i can remember correctly by name so the first thing we want to do is message.guild.roles.find and then we want to do basically the same thing we did before so from we're going to do r arrow function r.name and then we're going to look for args one now remember how the args are split Basically, the command is sliced, and then we've got args 0, args 1, and so on and so on. So let's do an OR operator right here. Now, the next thing you want to look for is the uh, ID. So message.guild.roles.find. And we're basically going to do the exact same thing we did before, except from we are going to look for an ID equals uh, args 1. Now, the last thing we want to look for is you can actually get a message mentions um, roles. So message mentions has roles, channels, uh, members and users, but we're going to look for roles, obviously. So message.mentions.roles.first. And basically, this is all we need here. We're just going to go down a space and then we're going to say if role isn't mentioned, we're going to return message.channel.send please provide a uh, role to add to said user right so now that how we've got it set up is we've got it set up so that uh, basically it's command or add role and it's going to be the user so the member and then it's going to be the role so that's basically how we've got it set up at the moment. Now, the next thing, which is optional, you don't have to add it, is reason. So we're going to add a reason. And this is basically just going to be args.slice2. And then we're going to join it with a space. Um, like, like a so. And then there's two ways we can do this. And I, I like doing it the way where you have to provide one. So reason, uh, sorry, if there isn't a reason... Uh, return message.channel.send please provide a reason now you can do it that way or which most people do like over the way I just I've just done you can have if there is not a reason you can let reason equal a string such as no reason provided something like that now this is going to come in handy when you have like an embed message sent to a mods channel um i like doing that i'm not sure if many people do but um yeah i'm basically gonna 
say it returns if there is no uh, reason provided. Now that we've got all the definitions out the way, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if the R member uh, has role, has a role. So roles that has role.id. Basically, this is checking if the member we've provided already has the role that we want to give them. And this is very important because it's going to error because you can't give a role to someone if they already have it. So then we're going to do return message. That's not you spell message dot channel dot send. Um, uh, bah, bah, bah. We could add backticks. We can add template literals um, and then do our member uh, member dot display name. Now that's a new thing you guys have not seen. That is a uh, guild member property. It basically displays their nickname or their username. Um, username being the uh, the fullback. Uh, so display name. Uh, comma already has the role uh, already has the role yeah I'll just do that I'm not gonna add what the role is now the next thing we're gonna do is else meaning if they don't have the role we're basically going to do if actually it would be a good idea to have this up here um, message dot guild dot me uh, dot has permission and then we're gonna add the probably the same stuff up here this is checking if they bot has permission to be able to perform this command and if not it's gonna say I don't have permission to perform this command which is very sad you should you should definitely give permission to your bot to be able to perform the command if there is no role and the role is not added to the user basically what you want to do is now we want to do our member dot add role and then we want to do role.id. After we've done that, we want to do, we want to await this. We don't want to wait this, we want to await this. And then we want to do message.channel, channel.send. Actually, whilst we're here, uh, we're going to add a catch just because sometimes this won't work and then error uh, console.log e.message. Now we're going to add um, the role. And then we're going to do, wait, hold up. No, 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 no. We should definitely add backticks and go the role, comma. We can add uh, role.name has been added to. And then we can bring this back down from up here. Has been added to this user, full stop. Don't forget your full stops, guys. Now that that's basically done, we're pretty much just going to add an embed now because embeds are fun. So let embed equal new discord dot rich rich embed. And then we're basically going to hold up. If we go to the bin, there should already be a yes, there should already be one of these in here. And we're just going to paste it in here. Um, colors is not in here, so we're just going to change this. Actually, we can just add the colors module, uh, not module, file. We just require it at the top here. And then once that's done, moderation is add role. Um, we can do our user, but username, message or author, reason is a thing, do local string. And then that should basically be that. So now that we've done that, we're actually just gonna quickly copy and paste it over um, we're just going to copy and paste this section right here. Uh, we're going to save it. We're going to copy and paste it into here. Now, once you've done this, you don't need to change any of this apart from this part here. We're just going to be removing the role. Um, basically, we're going to change that to doesn't have the role. And then we're going to say uh, uh, doesn't have the role. Bam. And now we want to say it has been removed. So we just want to say it's removed here. Um, and then there's just like a, a couple other things like remove from and just like kind of uh, fix up these grammatical errors here. And that's pretty much it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly also require that colors module before it says why do i keep saying module that's not what i want to do 
Um, so once that's done, uh, I'm gonna quickly open the thing. So basically now we have all the commands done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a role to someone. This person is gonna be Cutie Dog. They have been a long time supporter and helper of the tutorials. Um, and we're basically gonna add a role that is below them. Um, so I'm gonna add the JDA role. Uh, just note that the role you wanna add um, to a person the person has to be below the bot and the role also has to be below the bots roles So basically we're gonna add the JDA thing and we're gonna do testing And then that should add the JDA role and now that we've got that what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove role uh, from this user we're gonna remove the JDA role and Let's have a look so they have the role and now they do not have the role because it has been removed. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. This has been Connor from Main Box. That body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. No, no, no. She messed with the temperature. I wrote the song, but I am the messenger. Through the metropolis. There is no stopping this. Flowers and kisses, yeah. I heard you like chocolate.